Yennefer's suspicions proved true. Ciri had appeared in Skellige. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Ciri, too, might have returned to Skellige. Welcome back, guys. Some more of The Witcher 3. Going to try and lift the curse on this werewolf that we fought earlier in the last video. We'll see how that goes. I guess I'll take this. I don't know where to find whatever we're going to need to uh, lift this curse. Okay, so I guess I gotta talk to this guy first, and uh, I'll see you when I get there. Well, we'll talk to Yennefer first. Well, what is it? I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because... No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you. Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. All right, going back down. Be careful. Yep, I'll be careful. Sure. You drink last night too? You're a you, Dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keel hold you! Got a minute? Preparing my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvard. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvard raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm-hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly one. What happened to Mark Varg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? 
Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. Are you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. It's a little weird that they have this guy who's so far away from everything else in this quest. check out what's underneath this gate. Keep putting things that are in the way. Morkvark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkvark doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Sorry about that. I don't mean to cut off him speaking, but uh, no, that's gonna continue to happen. Dying. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die, <laughs> but I I did it, <laughs> and then <sighs> I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. <laughs> Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... You cannot kill me. You cannot 
can't stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. Of course. Free me. Or I'll return to get you again. Well, I thought he was going to attack me. Seems like the game wants you to kill him. The reason I'm not killing him is because I think if you do, he'll come back anyway, so I don't really see the point. This doesn't look good. Roots. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Faction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. 
Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne! Selene, Selene, Davidar! of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. She cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! 